Hello guys, I'm coming to y'all with the SPC performance and yeah, these right here. Well, I got a 2014 Dodge Avenger with H&R lowering springs and I was having a problem with I was having a problem with my back tires wearing which I'll show y'all that in a minute. I just put these tires on two months ago and they're on and everybody was telling me I needed a camber kit because I got my car aligned and yeah. So I got the camber front bolts. I just got these in, just the bolts. And I probably have an installment video. And then I got the arms. The adjustable, the rear. Uh, upper uh, control arms the adjustable as you can see I got those so about to put those on today and get my car aligned and hope it, it lines right if not I might have to go to people was telling me that they went to uh, uh, a di not just a regular alignment shop a different alignment shop to does perform at Lyman's and the car is fine now. So, that's what I might have to do. I don't know. I'll see. We'll see after this. All right, later. Hello, YouTube. How y'all doing today? Welcome to the life of Archie. God dang, that light. There we go. There we go. Now y'all can see me. I right, today I'm gonna be styling in the uh, upper control arm adjustable. Perform, I mean, a performance uh, control arm. God dang, can't get that out. Yeah, I'm going to be installing that today. I forgot my little stand so I can show y'all when I'm doing the work. So I can video while I'm doing the work, but this is what we're installing today. On the 2014 Dodge Avenger. And uh, what you need for this for this job here, just the 18, the standard 18, you know, MM metric, whatever, you know, whatever you want to get. Uh, yeah. That's what you need. Then you got this bolt right here, as you can see, and it's right on this side too. And then you got one back here. You just take those bolts out and slot that baby in. I got H&R lowering springs. And I got the uh, the bolts for the front too. So hopefully it's fixed my problem. You know, I just bought these tires two months ago. And look at these babies. Let me show y'all. So yeah, that's my problem. I gotta fix it. So, so I'm gonna try to do do both sides. But my car's pretty, man. The car pretty low. I didn't think it was that damn low because I wanted lower. But hopefully one day I can either get air ride suspension put on this thing, or I can go coilovers. One of the two. But I'd rather go air, air ride, you know. But as you can see down here, you need one of those. I had to use this and I had to use that because my car was too low to get this this one underneath there. So yeah, I had to use that to do that. Cause my other my low profile jack, it went out on me. Harbor freight, you know. Y'all know about that Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, right there. I gotta figure that out. See what's wrong with that. Uh, 
Yeah. I might have to, I don't know. I might go buy a new one and try to take that one back. Because I didn't had it for about six months. I know the warranty's gone on it, so I might have to do that on that. But anyways, that's how y'all do that job. That's what we're doing today. It's control arms and the front boats. So, you know, like, subscribe. You know what to do. And remember, always believe in yourself. All right, one love. I guess when he said my control arm was out of whack. I guess this is what he mean. That's the other one's pretty stiff, the new one, but it doesn't work because it's, I don't know, the wrong one. So, yeah, that's no go. I think they, think they might have sent me the wrong ones, or I don't know what's what, but this is wider than this, so it doesn't fit over this. I don't know, over this right here. I don't know if y'all had this problem or anything if y'all did let me know what's going on because am i doing something wrong or but i'm pretty sure this is supposed to be this area is supposed to be wide as this but it's not 